we're about to see a court that is more conservative than any court in probably about close to 90 years. There is a six to three conservative majority, and I think this is a Supreme Court that is, in the words of the critics, an activist conservative court, or others might call it an imperial conservative court. I think the court by nature is more ideologically split than at any time since I've been covering it, which I regret to tell you, it's many, many decades older than I look. I began when I was six. <laughs> Justice Barrett could be ruling on election law related matters in the next week or two. Many people would argue that the president rushed this nomination through and the leader did because they wanted her to rule on these election laws and want her there in case some of these states have right, in case ballot counting issues or whatever. I mean, that could all go to the Supreme Court. And many people will think there's an appearance of impropriety. Is that problematic? Is it appropriate? It doesn't. I mean, she has to recuse. She doesn't have what technically is called a conflict of interest. Yeah. However, decision is up to her ultimately. Mm -hmm. I've talked to a couple of scholars who think it would be smart for her to recuse, that she could really sort of start with a cleaner Yeah, I'm slate. not going to be a political judge, I'm going to... I'm not going to be a pawn, but that might mean they don't have a deciding vote in some of these cases. Do you think Republican senators campaigning about her confirmation will help Republicans? I think it may help some Republican senators like Lindsey Graham, but I think it's marginally help Democrats, particularly among women, those suburban women again, yeah. who are big RBG supporters. In 2016, the Supreme Court wasn't an issue for Democrats at all. It never has been an issue for Democrats at all. They've always taken the court for granted that it would be okay. And now they're scared.